Well, the fish were biting on Birch Lake today for the kids fishing contest in Hackensack. In this week's Northwoods Adventures, Shane Lee speaks with some of the successful young anglers. More than 100 lines hit the water off City Pier for the first Hackensack Kids Fishing Contest of 2012. Young anglers reeled in 419 fish over a two-hour period. For a lot of the kids, it's their first opportunity at, at fishing. Uh, a lot of them are come back year after year after year. The contest enters its 16th year and has grown to include more than 1,000 participants every summer. The competition has added minnow races and casting contests to keep the anglers occupied. Something to keep the kids occupied, to get bored because uh, the fish aren't cooperating that day. The fishing and casting competitions are divided into age groups, 0 through 5, 6 through 9, and 10 through 15. Each age bracket has their own target hoop. However, minnow racing is a free-for-all. At the end of two hours, anglers receive awards for the first, the largest, the smallest, and the greatest number of fish in each group. I like to catch big fish, small fish. Or even most. Quentin's 30.4 ounce bass stood out as the largest fish caught at today's contest. It kind of felt like a northern first and I f it felt like my line was about to break and we got it in with the net. While most people are usually after the largest fish, catching the smallest fish might actually be the bigger challenge because you have to be extremely gentle. It didn't feel like anything. I just saw it on my hook. Emily Bircham and her brother Isaac use the same technique. They dangle their bait straight down without a bobber so they can move the hook to the level of the fish instead of waiting for the fish to come to them. The technique helped Isaac catch 46 fish. It was like 40 minutes I didn't catch one fish and then I got another spurt at the end and I caught about another 20. They were just coming up willingly. It was like they were jumping into my hands. The fish did not jump for everyone, but the anglers can always try again next week. Shane Lee. Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.